One of the things I was sharing with the player here is that the replay system in Street Fighter V is amazing. Yeah. That you can go and add favorites to whoever you think you know you're looking up to as a as a great player, and you can watch their replays and see some of the things that they're doing and learn and apply it to what you're trying to do. Absolutely. But, I mean, the one thing that we need to learn also is to use training mo training room properly and to be open to the mo like. Here's the thing. People are going to go to fight around. Yeah, I got to level up. Thank you, Mr. Ryu. Um, the thing people have to remember is you're going to go to a big event like final round. First international tournament, honestly, where a lot of players are flying in to prove their worth. My opinion is do, do what you can, but remember, because there's international players, there's a different play style there. There's a different mentality. So learn as much as you can because this is the very beginning to start for a long period of learning. And I think if you get if you jump ahead, it'll help. Hey, learn as much as you can and learn as much as you can to stay consistent. All right, who do we have playing right Ralph now? versus Sage. Okay. Sage running Nash. This is actually really it, it's funny. This matchup isn't that much different than Cami versus the Kali. The only difference is uh, Nash has a little bit more tools to kind of deal with the Kali if if not pressuring 24/7. Nice pressure from Sage right now. Has oh, Rao in the corner, but wow. I don't know if Rao's is not used to fighting on Nash, who's had wow. this aggression. Yeah, he, I don't think he had time to even process what Sage was doing. Oh yeah, Sage, Sage is definitely definitely putting on the pressure. And he starts off with the Scythe uh, medium version. Every time you can do that, because there's not much answer for Nikali to do against it. So it's really, really something that's going to yeah, come into play in the beginning. Well, has to be careful because that is plus, and if he blocks it, he has to just respect it. Sage so looking for a way to get in. As Rouse is like fighting just to keep him out and figure out what Sage wants to do. He's looking for a clean punish. There it is. Now, Crouching Fierce isn't going to uh, punish the EX Stomp, so it would be good if Sage thinks about them in the future because he can actually get punished for that. Yeah, Rao keeps his distance right now. Rao, Rao finally trying to jump in to get out of the corner, but here comes Sage. Sage nice DP. Overhands. Very even match right now. Oh, that could have been really risky for Sage. What? There it oh, oh wow. Wow. Really, really good grab. Nash may have that slow walk speed, but he has really, really, really good uh, dash speed. So you have to make up for it with uh, getting used to dashing over walking. That was pretty convincing by Sage right there. Oh, absolutely. I, I think this is just a matchup that he's trying to learn on the fly right now. And it seems like Sage kind of has a little bit more grasp over Nikali since there's a lot more Nikali players out there. So I wonder how Rao will adjust, and it looks like Sage is facing so well. Sage is with every possible block stream that is safe. safe. I was just going to say the same thing. And not giving up any any momentum or chance. And he could have DP'd. He could have actually just did a regular DP, preemptively if he reacted fast. Dash grab. Throwing out the booms. Oh. Oh. Trying to go for a sneaky mix up there. Going for a grab right there. Ralph punished it. Nice back dash. And this might be the opportunity that Ralph's looking for. Blocks overhead. I think that Sage has to mix it up a little bit. He can't keep doing the overhead. I think he should do regular uh, V trigger into crouching light. Something different. And now that there is no more V trigger. For uh, Sage, Rao is definitely going to V-trigger up as he did, and now he's going to punish him for not having any meter, any V-trigger, and not using any meter. Nice patience by Rao. And the startup for his V-skill gets a lot faster too, so Dash that's, up a, that's grab. a big important thing. And Sage okay. is putting on the pressure. 
overhead into dash forward grab. Very strong, but Rao's sending the same answer nice back to him. That's the first time he threw that same grab all game. Yeah, it, it's a little risky for him to throw it, but it looks like he's getting almost fully punished oh. and safe drop the combo. Big damage. Now remember, he no longer has V-Trigger. Nice DP. And Sage is coming up on V-Trigger. Oh, use the V-Reversal just to get out of the corner. Very smart. Oh, wow. Oh, and he's going to punch him. Beast wow. I think, he got, I, think he, I think he was a little nervous. He just went right into the, the critical art. He tried to anti-air, but that's really fast. Yeah. He could have did it if he delayed a little bit longer. But... Definitely Sage is putting up a fight here. I mean, well, if he did it, he could have also did what an EX, um, uh, EX uh, uh, sidekick. Yeah, yeah he could have done it. I mean, I think it would have been safer, but he went for he definitely went for something that was a little bit more in his mind what was safe at the time. So 1 1. And I like how uh, Sage is finally looking for those crush counters. He went for a stand, stand forward, he's looking for it now. He's like, hey, Nikali, throw out that roundhouse, and I'm going to throw this right back at you. Nice grab. And around. Oh, noticing counter. That Sage is hitting a lot of buttons, so he, he actually quickly counters and lets up all the stun pressure. Knowing that he's probably going to be triggered, and here comes. Oh, catches it in between here. Oh, caught him. Caught Rouse sleeping very hard here. This could be. Oh, oh round DP. Oh, but no real punish. And Sage dropping that round. That was that absolutely was his, round. his own fault. He knows it, but he cannot let that pressure him now. He needs to actually keep up the play style that he's been going with, and it will be good. Here's the pressure right now. He has him in the corner. Overhead. He definitely wants that return, that return round. And everybody has to remember, he's ending his combos with the soul sap because it takes all it takes away meter if you do heavy it takes away a uh, half if you do like medium it takes away like about a quarter nice key. Nice. Same tire. So. big damage see he's definitely not anti-airing uh route at all and just letting route jump in for free it's maybe gonna that, hurt him in the long run maybe that last round getting in his head right now oh nice ex oh if he had read the jump Oh, oh, Rao has to see he's coming. Sage is, right now. Sage has not once done the regular V trigger on the ground. And he's looking for low forward. Oh. Okay. I thought he was going to look for low forward into V trigger. Because he has meter into EX. Oh. Oh, that could have been EX stops for him. But gets V, v trigger. V skill. Rao takes his win. Sage. Played really well. He just, uh, that, that first round got in his head and it kind of. Wait, wait. Sage! 